I'm sure we've all been in a situation before where you've had a pretty good game, maybe even a five kill game, let's say, and there's just one guy left on the other team and he's camping the airfield. Why is he camping the airfield? Because, well, he either doesn't want to pay for repair costs, he doesn't want to lose, or he just wants to be a jackass. Either way, all three of those are annoying. It's just frustrating when somebody's camping the airfield. With the introduction of surface to air missiles on the airfields, there's not a whole lot you can do. You'd think. I'm here today to tell you that surface to air missiles are actually really easy to defeat. A lot of people will just say, stay really close to the ground, you know, fly supersonic at 10 meters and they're not going to hit you. Well, you know, that kind of works and that's kind of what I'm doing here, although at this point I'm pretty damn slow. You see me using a tactic called terrain masking and it's pretty self-explanatory. Use the terrain to, you know, deny a shot from the entire craft, Sam, whatever it may be. The only problem with that is, as you're seeing in this clip, it doesn't really care about terrain masking. Some of these, I think these are Rollins. I can't really tell. Yeah, it looks like it says Roland. Anyways, they can shoot through the hill and gun me down anyways, even though they actually have no line of sight on my aircraft. It's pretty frustrating and kind of poorly modeled. And that's going to leave you wondering other ways to, you know, not get killed by Sam's. Because flying low and flying fast doesn't always work, especially if you miss that one pass. Well, then what do you do? Well, I can't necessarily give you an answer for, you know, hovering over the airfield because there's really not a way you can do that. But what you can do is if there is one guy left and he he's about to go J out or he's going to camp the airfield, whatever it may be, you can climb above 5,000 meters. Now, if you're above 5,000 meters, the SAMs won't lock onto you. They won't launch a miss. They won't launch a missile at you, and you're pretty much invisible to the SAMs. Once you've gone up to that altitude, you can dive straight down over the airfield, and they will actually not even shoot at you. At least not with missiles. They're going to start using guns, but those are pretty easy to dodge. And once you've gotten your kill on the airfield, over the airfield, whatever it may be, you can literally just throw your afterburner on, make sure you're staying supersonic, and get the hell out of there. The SAMs take a really long time to react. You're going to see missiles just now coming in after me, and I am well outside of the range of that missile. It's never going to hit me. Given the way that the spotting system works in this game, the target that you're actually diving for probably isn't going to know that you're coming either. It's not like AAA where the guns are just going to start shooting and that kind of gives them a cue to look up in the sky. SAMs aren't going to do that. Obviously, they're surface to air missiles, so they're not going to see you coming. They probably aren't going to hear you coming until it's too late, and that way they're not going to be able to J out. Or if maybe they're not on the runway itself, they're not going to react and start deploying flares. Just to show you one more time again, well, I'm going to show you more than one time, just to prove that it's not a fluke, this happens every single time with pretty much 100% success as long as you're doing it right. Uh, same thing, climb up above 5,000 meters, once you're right over the airfield, dive straight down, and after you've deployed your weapon or shot a burst of your guns, get the hell out. The SAMs aren't going to react in time to actually get a missile off while you're still in range, and as long as you dive supersonic and exit that dive supersonic, you're almost never going to die. Now I will say this MiG-27 that you see on my 6 here does end up killing me, and I lose my 6 kill game. Would have been 7, just because I was a complete potato and didn't evade at all. He gunned me down with this 30mm, probably the easiest, easiest kill of his life. Um, good game to you. Real, real shame for me. Here we go again, over 5,000 meters altitude, we dive straight down. I know that there's some guy here, he was going to land or something like that. I don't let people just land and jay out, I think that's pretty lame. Uh, you win with your team, you lose with your team, that's the way I see it. And just because you're the last one alive doesn't give you an escape of repair costs. Sorry, controversial opinion or not, that's just how I play and I, I expect the same treatment for me. Same thing, dive down, shoot the missile, run away. No SAMs are even going to try shooting at us, we're too fast, they're not going to track, they didn't know that we were coming, and by the time that they do shoot, it's too late. While I think that this is the best tactic to not die from SAMs, it's not always going to work out for you as far as getting a kill. Now, all of the clips you've seen are me shooting at targets that are pretty much already on the runway. So what? Well, I think there is definitely some practical applications to where you would want to use what I've just showed you in those previous clips. It's going to come in handy a lot more often than you think, but 
what happens when you're going for a target that is airborne or you know something that can put up a little bit better of a defense and either way they're not going to know you're coming so they're probably not going to be putting up much of a defense in the first place I knew that there was an F4 Phantom here, I just kind of guessed on his path of where he's going, but I mean look, I do the exact same thing, 5,000 meters altitude, dive straight down. The SAMs come a little bit late, and since they came late they gave me just enough time to put some distance between me and the airfield so I can get on the 6 of this Phantom and exit relatively safely. That first missile there blows up, as does the second missile, and we can also get pretty low at this point and use this mountain. To mask our radar signature. That phantom was not the last enemy on the other team however and I'm not quite sure where the SU-17 is so I'm gonna pop in order. Here's the SU-17. I could attempt a head-on pass with him but if I miss him it's gonna take me a long time to turn around. I'm gonna play a lot of speed and he's gonna put some pretty good distance between me and him and I'm probably not gonna be able to chase him without risking taking fire from Sam. So Instead, I've kind of pull up, pulled up in front of him, and I'm going to use the clouds to hopefully get him to lose me. I think it worked because he didn't get a shot on me, and he kind of just passes right underneath me. And that puts me on his six a little closer than I would have been if I tried to take that head on. And now I'm just going to follow him to wherever it is he's going, which presumably is going to be the airfield. And since this guy already knows I'm here, it's not going to be too useful for me to climb up to 5,000 meters and try to dive on him from behind without him actually not knowing that I'm there. It's just not going to happen. So I'm going to have to use that other tactic that we talked about in the beginning of the video. Flying really low and really close to the ground. Now, why does this work? Most people probably already know, but in case you don't, the radar, just like your radar on the SAMs, is not going to be able to see you that easily when there's a bunch of ground clutter. Now granted, the SAMs have a little bit of leeway considering some of them are just stationed in the middle of a forest, so the trees aren't necessarily going to save you. But if you can find some terrain and mask your radar signature behind a hill or something like you're going to see here, then obviously you're not going to get locked and a missile is not going to be able to hit you. So. I'm just going to switch positions here, kind of give the SU-17 something to think about, you know, was I running, was I just repositioning, I'm coming up behind him here, I hope he kind of lost sight of me, considering he's got an order on him, that's the reason he's spotted right now, I'm not sure if he can see me or not, probably not is my guess, so I'm going to come in here from behind him and stay nice and low to the ground, hopefully these SAMs don't hit, if you do get a SAM kind of, kind of coming close to you, I got lucky there, that one passed just behind me. But we're also going to go over some evasive maneuvers you can do to try to make these missiles miss you because while they are very, very strong missiles, probably better than most air-to-air -air missiles in this game, there are things you can do to not get hit by them once they're launched at you. It's also important to note that having a good pilot with an upgraded crew and full stamina and G tolerance is going to be very helpful. Like you see here, I pulled a lot of Gs, pulled really hard to dip under that a missile right there and I still lost control so if your pilot's not that good you're probably not going to be able to do a lot of these maneuvers. Oftentimes pulling some kind of barrel roll aler aileron roll mix, I'll call it a baileron roll, <laughs> oftentimes does make the missile stop tracking or at least it's not going to be able to follow your move. You're going to see here I'm going to do it two times, would have done it three, that missile though in front just kind of disappeared. So here you see it, we're kind of doing a mix of an aileron and barrel roll and you can do this with any missile in the game, not just these SAMs. You can try it out on some of the infrared IR missiles that you'll see on other aircraft as well. But just that maneuver alone, I was able to dodge two missiles while I was running away. That maneuver does work best when there is something on your six, or a missile on your six rather. And that's probably the only time you want to try using it. But it is a maneuver you could add to your defensive arsenal to not get hit by SAMs. Switching gears back to that primary tactic I was talking about earlier, 5,000 meters go really fast and SAMs never shoot at you. You can screw it up as easy as it sounds. If you're not paying attention to what you're doing, you get a little confident or overconfident with the technique like I have here, then you can still die. So you see me here at 5,000 meters about to execute my attack. 
Now, the first mistake I make is I come out a little too wide. Ideally, you want to be pretty much right over the airfield. You can see I'm kind of behind it. That's mistake number one. You saw right there the front Sam was able to get a missile off on me already. Mistake number two is my speed's fluctuating just way too much. So if you want to do the maneuver properly and not die on your way out or on your way down, you gotta come from 5,000 meters straight down and stay above Mach 1 the entire time. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, I hope you found it helpful, and most importantly, I hope I'll see you on the next one.